So from um, taking the 804 class, uh, part of the proposal was the development for the Leadership for Learning site, which you see here, which is a SharePoint site, because that's what our division uses. Um, and so we've got this Leadership for Learning site here, and we have the Leadership for Learning graphic placed in the center. Um, and it's an interactive graphic, so we created it to be interactive as a way to enter the site and look at each of the elements. So around the outside, we have the um, foundations of learning. Inside circle is the central concepts. And in the um, we've got the four quadrants here, which are the vital processes. And of course, they all affect and ensure student learning. Um, if we click on one of the um, central concepts here, the ensuring expected practice, it takes us into um, the learning page. We've got uh, developed um, videos with the, in conjunction with the superintendents, and they're just giving a little brief video introduction of the element that they were looking at. And then we have the different kind of um, outcomes for uh, leaders. So as leaders, we ensure improved student learning by these six elements. And then each of these um, elements here have links to different kind of learning um, pages and things that they can that educators and teachers specifically in this case leaders can access and then it also takes us to different um, links with the images the SPS uh, leadership for learning curriculum and a video library that um, is under developed right now just because of the time that was spent on the project um, but all of these link into different pages which in theory house um, different different learning materials. And if we click back on the breadcrumbs here, we go into the Leadership for Learning site and you can go, um, as, just as you sc scroll down, you can see that there's the leadership curriculum. Um, I just see that it's spelt wrong here, um, not my doing. Um, and uh, so the leadership curriculum for the 2017 to 2019 focus. So we've got ensuring expected practices and the beliefs and the management. And again, this site's a little bit underdeveloped because of the time um, that I was able to spend on the project. Um, but essentially, all the resources um, for this curriculum should be located within this framework as you click on the links, and you should be able to do some self-directed learning PD from it. Again, we didn't get that far with it, but we do have a variety of great resources here uh, for learners um, to access or leaders to access. We also have the leadership team site. So we've got the leadership meetings and professional development. So those house our agendas um, and different things that we do. The school administrators team site, um, which links into a different SharePoint page that focuses on administrator, um, administer via things that they need to know. Um, assessment and research, our assessment and research page that houses all the division data. And then again, the leadership video library. However undeveloped, there is space for it. These are two of the videos that are in the leadership video library. Um, a couple of years ago, I suggested that Dr. Shawnee and Pete, um, myself and a colleague suggested that Dr. Shawnee and Pete come and talk to us um, at one of our leadership keynote um, presentations in April. And from that, um, I was able to get the division to synthesize her, um, the essence of her talk in two short videos. So you can see one's two minutes, 18 seconds, the other one's 332. And basically the vision here was just to get um, people that we invite into, into the division um, to have their thoughts resonate. We needed to capture a variety of just short videos um, that helped keep that information within the division that as new leaders come into the role, they can um, learn from them as well without having actually have experienced all the talk. And that would become um, as we move forward, part of that leadership for learning framework and professional development resources that people can access. Um, I'll take you into one of the other elements here. I think I've got the managing um, developed, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've actually added resources in here. So again, we have Jamie Valentine um, kind of giving a synopsis of the view. We've got the elements here and then Linked to here, we have the business, business and Administration SPS Internal Manual. So that's an internal site. I won't take you there just for uh, privacy reasons. Um, but again, we do have this framework set up and we do have a place where we're starting um, and continuing to link resources in as we learn and grow. Um, we're adding elements in so that future leaders can have access to this knowledge as well. And this, the creation of this site was really to get those tacit resources um, in place so that we can um, support learning and the, the longevity and the, I'm looking for a word here and I can't find it, but that longevity of learning and so that future learners can learn, leaders can learn from it as well. Um, so that's the Leadership for Learning site in, 
its development thus far, but this kind of spurred um, learning about SharePoint and how to communicate professional development in a little bit different way so that we can um, support that learning over time um, and have that kind of collective, um, collective knowledge um, move forward. So thanks for listening. <laughs>